uh, natural sources like sugarcane and tapioca through fermentation process. And Ajinomoto is it's a brand name. It's a brand name owned by Ajinomoto Co. INC Japan. And uh, this brand name is uh, has been uh, trademarked for our company at around 180 countries uh, across the globe. And under this brand name, we are selling our famous product that is monosodium glutamate across all the countries in the uh, world. And what is the word meaning Ajinomoto? The word Ajinomoto in Japanese means essence of taste. So, uh, as I said, uh, Ajinomoto is a umami seasoning mix. What is the word umami mean? The word umami in Japanese means it's a combination of two words, umai and mi. So it means delicious taste. And in 1908, uh, famous scientist Dr. Kikanai Ikeda in Japan has um, discovered this umami taste from kombu seaweed. So what, as I said, this is a umami taste. In nature, there are basically four uh, basic tastes are there. That is sweet, salt, sour, and bitter. And umami is the fifth basic taste. Even the science also has proved that uh, in our tongues, the tongue, there is a presence of glutamate receptors are there through which we can enjoy this fifth basic taste. Now, how this umami tastes? What is the flavor of this umami? So normally in our home, in different uh, vegetables, uh, when we cook, we use tomato or we use onion. The basic meaty flavor we get from tomato, that is the umami taste. So now all of you will have a question like, from what which, what kind of uh, raw material we produce uh, ajinomoto that is monosodium glutamate. So this is uh, in this slide you can see uh, in different countries uh, for the production of ajinomoto we use different raw materials. But the product which is available in India that is produced from uh, sugar can through fermentation process. So here uh, I'm explaining even uh, in the uh, display panels you can see how we produce uh, MHG. So uh, normally we produce MHG from uh, fresh uh, source like sugar can. So sugar can we uh, farm fresh sugar can we take from the farmland and we grind the sugar can we get the sugar can molasses. That molasses we transfer into the uh, big fermentation tank. In that fermentation tank, we do the fermentation by using a fermentative microbes. What that fermentative microbes do? It uh, it consumes the sugar from the sugarcane molasses, and that sugarcane molasses has, has been converted into um, a mono, uh, glutamic acid solution, and that glutamic acid solution um, which acidify and crystallize to get uh, glutamic acid uh, cubes or uh, blocks. That uh, glutamic acid blocks, we use um, acidification by use sodium hydroxide, uh, food grade sodium hydroxide, and finally we get monosodium glutamate. So the end product, uh, we get monosodium glutamate solution. It will be contaminated with some impurities. That impurities we remove by using active char charcoal. So active charcoal or active uh, carbon we use to uh, remove these impurities, and finally the end product we get purified monosodium glutamate solution. And the end process is uh, with uh, hot air we pass and to get a crystal of monosodium glutamate. And it packed under the famous red ball Ajinomoto. So, as I said, monosodium glutamate, monosodium glutamate. So, what is that glutamate? So, glutamate is uh, normally it's, it's a form of amino acid. In nature, there is two kind of amino acids there. That is bound amino acid and free amino acid. And uh, the monosodium glutamate here, this glutamate is a form of free amino acid. So normally, this free amino acid is not attached to any other amino acid, and it contributes to the enhancement of the taste of the dish. So that's why when we use uh, glutamate-rich food, it gives a very good taste. So you will be uh, surprised to see in our uh, uh, Indian uh, vegetables, you can see in the list. 
So uh, almost all these vegetables have a high amount of glutamate. And uh, even uh, like tori means uh, rich cat have a highest amount of glutamate acid in that. So that's why it tastes so good. I would like to share a very surprising fact that uh, so many people don't know. Even mother breast milk also have a high amount of glutamic acid. So in mother breast milk, there is around, uh, almost around 20 types of amino acid, free amino acids are there. In that, glutamate uh, have almost 50% presence. And uh, uh, infant, which is under breastfeeding, on an average get 150 milligram to 200 milligram of free glutamate from other breast milk on a daily basis. So coming to the safety part of energy. So you might be, uh, you might have heard a lot of negative points about uh, uh, Ajinomoto or MSG, but the true fact here as I presented is that it is produced from natural sources and the process we use to produce this uh, product is fermentation. So fermentation is a very common process. So in our home also to produce uh, curd also we use this process only. So here uh, as a safety accreditation you can see in India SSSAI and uh, USFDA and the JECPA which is a combination of FAO and WHO and uh, European communities and uh, food safety Australia New Zealand all these uh, global uh, certification bodies they have done a conclusive research on this particular product and after conclusive research and the evidence, based on the evidence, they have concluded that uh, MHG is uh, absolutely safe for the consumption of the human being. And um, there is no acceptable daily intake level. So there is no limitation for the consumption of MHG. However, however, for the test uh, point of view, for Indian cuisine, when you cook any dishes for the four person, a small family of four members, for for member servings, we can use one teaspoon for the better taste. So there is no, but there is no, from health point of view, there is no limitation for the consumption. So apart from this, all uh, famous global regulatory bodies, here you can see all uh, other bodies in India like Glutamax Scientific uh, Group, American Medical Association, American um, Diabetic Association, and the Federation of American Societies for Experimental Bi Biology. American Academy of Family Physician Foundation, American Academy of Asthma, and all other uh, bodies, all they have done a uh, thorough research and they found it is absolutely safe for the consumption. So all you can do is you can enjoy this uh, nature's gift and uh, have a delicious food. So apart from the safety point, uh, point of view, so whether we get any benefit from this uh, food uh, ingredients. So yes, we get a benefit, but it's from taste point of view. So the first point is, it increases the deliciousness of the food. As I already explained, because monosodium glutamate have a glutamate, uh, free glutamate in there. So that's why it deal with the other food ingredients of the dish. And it gives a very good taste. It enhances the taste of the um, dish. And second uh, benefit it provides is the uh, reduce, uh, it re helps us to reduce the consumption of sodium in the food. How? So monosodium glutamate have only 12% of sodium uh, ingredient in that compared to the common salt which have around 39%. So monosodium glutamate have one third of sodium compared to common salt. So it's not uh, one point, a very important point. We are not telling that it's a substitute for the uh, common salt. But what we can do is, if we reduce the uh, content of the salt in any dish, so we feel that the taste is not up to the mark and it's not good. So what we can do, we can reduce a uh, slight quantity of salt and we can use a pinch of uh, MSG in that any dish and it helps us to uh, uh, reduce the consumption of salt, uh, sodium by almost 30% but at the same time it maintains the deliciousness of the food. So finally, what is another benefit is um, most of the people might have heard that MSG contributes to the obesity. So it's a, it's a myth, it's not a fact. The fact is, in science, our science has proved that in our stomach, in our intestine, there is a glutamate receptor cell there. So the moment we eat any food which is rich with the glutamate ingredients, 
we immediately feel the sensation in our stomach and that sensation has goes to our uh, brain and as a result we get a feeling of enoughness uh, and we feel satisfied so as a result we avoid overeating so on other way it helps us to avoid obesity because we control our food intake so after this i would just like to um, uh, present a small video which show how we produce energy and other basic facts thank you